Well, Sam, there you have it. You can see it. This is the entire sector prototype which is yet to be approved. But the ministry was here, especially the Ministry of Industrialization, the CS Bet Miner was here to look at it. Now, you can see this is a dummy person and um, it's aiding him to, to breathe. And then we have the entire system here that um, has all these connections from... Uh, uh, as you can see, this this the machine that uh, they are calling it the mix-up because it's in here that uh, medical air and oxygen is mixed uh, before now it's delivered uh, to the person, uh, or for example, the person who is in need of um, oxygen and, and especially when we're talking about ICU cases. Now, this is just what uh, is happening here at the Kenyatta University um, already. The CS, as I told you, Bet Miner was here, uh, the company of the PS Industrialization and uh, Professor Wainaina, who is uh, um, the Vice Chancellor of Kenyatta University, they, they looked at uh, the innovation that was done by 16 students of Kenyatta University from different faculties, with the, those from uh, the School of Medicine, the School of Engineering. Uh, they're doing quite a number of issues, and, and they say this came about when um, stories went viral across the world and even here in the country uh, given that uh, ventilators or the number of ventilators um, ne uh, or, or let's say the ventilators are in dire need here in the country and so they, they are saying this can work and actually they're saying will work uh, so they're expecting that by Monday probably uh, the Ministry of Health will give a nod or a go ahead or let's just say approval for the ministry uh, for them to kick start the process now of production of, of these ventilators they say that the university has a capacity of producing 50 ventilators per week and remember the, with the shortage uh, there will be enough um, uh, to supply hospitals with these key components. Remember, COVID-19 uh, attacks the lungs and uh, in some cases, and especially in severe cases, uh, makes some patients um, have difficulties in, in breathing. And this um, ventilator, this machine now becomes crucial. Now, Sam, let's talk to some of the students here the, to just tell us um, what motivated them or what made them to come up uh, with this machine. Uh, thank you. Tell me your name and which cause you are undertaking here at the Kenyatta University. And just tell us uh, briefly how this machine works. Uh, my name is Bernard Karanja. I'm a fifth year pharmacy student in the School of Pharmacy. And uh, this machine is, uh, the, mo the urge to make this machine is because of the shortages of the ventilators in our country. And uh, of course, you know that almost all the countries outside there have uh, locked their countries. They cannot export even ventilators and we're in, in dire need of these ventilators. So for the last seven days, we've been working here with a team of 17 students, 16 students actually, um, from the uh, biomedical engineering, uh, electrical engineering, uh, pharmacy, medicine, and nursing. And uh, what we are calling the Tiba vent is uh, actually a mechanical ventilator. Uh, inside here, we have... Um, uh, a blender where we mix oxygen and medical air. Remember, we need to vary the concentration of uh, oxygen going to the patient, ranging from 21% of what is in the air up to 100% what we can supply with the oxygen tank. So they are blended in here so that we get the saturation that we need. Then uh, it comes through out here, going to the patient, uh, comes from the inspiration valve, going to the patient, this is a patient circuit goes to the patient, then uh, the expiration goes back, and then it's filtered outside there before it is released to the okay. environment. Yeah. So, so, so uh, one key question that uh, people will be asking, um, how sure are you that this machine actually can work? We've actually tested this machine several, like you can see with the dummy here. We've, uh, we've been referring, we've been working day and night here, and I can assure you that 100% this machine is going to work. Thank you so much. Uh, Sam, you've heard him. He says that uh, the Ashua, the 16 students and their lecturers, the dean of School of Medicine, um, actually, they, they have assured the government that this machine will work and will solve uh, the issue of shortage of ventilators in the country. Sam.